Anemia is a complicated problem that affects millions of Americans. I'm not totally sure why I picked this uh, picture on here, but it does show that uh, anemia can present with fatigue, um, sometimes can be confused with depression. But the definition of uh, anemia is either a hemoglobin count that's low or a hematocrit that's low. So uh, hemoglobin under 13.5 for men or 12 for women, hematocrit under 41% for men and 36 for women. Just means that we have a reduced ability to carry oxygen to the body. So the reasons that you would have uh, an anemia are the same reasons you'd have a deficit of any other thing. If you're not making enough, if you are destroying too much of it or losing too much of it, then you're not, then you're going to have a deficit, and it's the same with anemia. This uh, table shows some of the more important causes of anemia, and uh, breaks it up into microcytic, macrocytic, and normocytic. We'll talk about this in a second about what those numbers mean, but basically is talking about the number of cells, and. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the size of the cells, not the, the number of, of cells. And uh, the most common of these is the iron deficiency anemias. The patients that you can see with this are commonly an uh, adolescent girl who's just started menstruation, a pregnant female who's donating her iron to a greater cause, and uh, the elderly, uh, men or women, who are not getting enough iron in their diet because of uh, uh, socioeconomic uh, conditions or uh, or maybe due to dementia and not not understanding what they need to eat or remembering to eat. And also in the elderly, you have an increased incidence of uh, cancers that, that may lead to bleeding. These... Uh, Macrocytic anemias are often due to um, a de decreased production of red blood cells, especially in B12 deficiency, folate deficiency. These are uh, deficiencies in, in uh, vitamins that are needed for DNA production. And then your normocytic anemias um, can be broken up into non-hemolytic and hemolytic. So either we're destroying red blood cells or we are um, losing red blood cells, as in uh, sometimes an anemia of chronic disease, or we're just not making enough uh, red blood cells, like an aplastic anemia, or kidney disease. The microangiopathy, Angiopathies are uh, examples of mostly uh, mechanical destruction of red blood cells, but also uh, blood loss can be caused by these mi microangiopathies. The major symptoms of anemia, these patients will come in with fatigue as, as the top of their list, but that's not sensitive or specific to anemia, you'll want to be checking for uh, skin changes, respiratory problems, uh, cardiopulmonary problems, um, intestinal and uh, muscular issues. In the history, you'll be asking about tarry stools. This would be indicative of uh, blood due to especially um, a uh, colorectal cancer, but also uh, can be due to other types of bleeding in the GI. Pain, rheumatoid arthritis, which is associated with uh, autoimmune destruction of red blood cells, renal failure, remember the Kidneys are where erythropoietin is made, which is the major hormone to stimulate red blood cell production. Ethnicity is associated with 
certain types of genetic anemias like thalassemia that you see in Mediterranean uh, populations and medications. Many of them can cause uh, anemia as well. On physical exam, you look for some of the things that we saw on the chart back there, like pallor, jaundice, lymphadenopathy, which may be an in indicative of some kind of a uh, autoimmune or inflammatory process, as well as malignant processes. Hepatosplenomegaly is common in uh, spherocytosis, uh, sickle cell anemia, some of the anemias that involve changes in the red blood cell size and shape. Bone tenderness may be indicative of a uh, some some type of a uh, myeloproliferative disorder uh, or a uh, or a cancer. Petechiae and ecchymosis can be signs of uh, loss of blood, uh, bleeding problems that can lead to anemia. Look for signs of infection and, and definitely check the stool sample for blood. The lab values involved are uh, MCV, which is the mean corpuscular volume. The mean corpuscular volume is the size of the red blood cell or the volume of the cell. So if we back up to this slide where we talk about microcytic versus macrocytic and normocytic, the mean corpuscular volume can help us uh, start thinking about different categories of anemia. So if we have a uh, mean corpuscular volume uh, below 80, we'll start to think about iron deficiency and some of the thalassemias, possibly lead poisoning, which is a lot less common these days. Or um, if we have um, high, high uh, MCV levels, we start to think about the macrocytic anemias. The uh, uh, mean corpuscular hemoglobin gives us some of the same information. The mean co corpuscular hemoglobin concentration helps us to identify uh, changes in in red blood cell shape, for example, uh, spherocytosis will have a, a characteristic m mean corpuscular uh, hemoglobin concentration. Reticulocyte count will help us to know if we are producing new red blood cells. Uh, white blood cell count and differential can lead us to uh, diagnoses in which we may be producing uh, no uh, blood cells at all, white or red blood cells, as well as um, can help us help lead us to inflammatory processes. Um, nucleated RBCs, platelet count, pancytopenia, and iron transferrin and ferritin are especially helpful uh, when we're talking about iron deficiency. So the treatment is as varied as the causes. So we need to worry about removing the underlying cause, whether that be stopping the hemorrhage that's causing it, uh, removing a tumor, replenishing deficits like iron deficits, folate deficits, B12, and uh, giving blood products or uh, also uh, administering uh, erythropoietin analogs to help produce blood. So uh, many of these anemias warrant their uh, own video, which we'll do later. But please give me some comments uh, so we can improve these videos and have a better uh, general overview. Um, also, please make comments if there are any errors in this video so people can see the comments below and so I can make changes. Thank you.